Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. Phoenixes turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Phoenixes turn to pick. Hello, good morning, or good night, or whatever heck it is. Hello, Twitch chat, Vala Mugulis, and of course, hello to Grand Grant and Twitch. Hello to all of you guys, and we are here for the final deciding game of our last best of three game. Well, for the Summit 5C qualifiers, MVP Phoenix versus TNC. Such a good series so far, and we can see TNC, well, struggled a bit in game one, but in game two, took out MVP so convincingly, it was just crazy, like, you were just thinking, alright, so, same MVP, did something happen? Maybe MVP was watching, oh, you know, I'm distracted by K-pop dance videos, I'm pretty sure you guys have found it on YouTube, like, a bit. Anyways, back to the game. Game 1 MVP, they did go for the strat, it did pay off, and now we go back into this draft again, right now for game three. We see it here, Beastmaster and Brimmother banned on immediately and TNC will take out the IO with the Alchemist. So interesting picks this time because so both teams, they have well, sort of started out with something a bit similar. Sorry, not say similar, but a bit different compared to the previous games. Like The only hero which remains the same from the previous two games is TNC Slaughter, but they go for the Oracle this time. So it pretty much dissuades MVP Phoenix from going ahead with the Bat Rider pick. They will pick up the Darkseer and Earth Spirit. This, these are heroes which, no strangers to MVP. They always like these heroes, and 4F can be such a beast with the Darkseer. I've seen him vacuum three heroes into four. I've seen it, and of course, you know, Earth Spirit taken so many nerves. It's almost as if, you know, Ice Frog just hates the hell out of this hero. But every time he always finds the impact, no matter what. Be a three man stun, great damage with the magnetized, great silence. Unless, of course, you decide to roll all the way in, like, somewhere else and you end up being like Lloyd Bender. Alright, so we see the Juggernaut's gonna be banned for an MVP Phoenix this time. That's a Teehee hero, which they do play mid. TNC obviously tired out. It's past midnight. It's almost time. It's actually 12.45 a.m. over here. Not p.m. So it's not noon. It's already way past midnight. And they don't want to drag this out to, like, super late game. I've actually never seen TNC ban Naga Siren before in all the series of between MVP Phoenix and TNC that have ever casted. So this is interesting to see, like they've sort of adapted over here and there. Alright, so Lifestealer will be taken out again. MVP completely destroyed by the Slaughter and Lifestealer combo. You saw like how much if armor coming out and they just they really just destroyed MVP Phoenix, like every one of the team, you saw the enchantress disappear, one hit KO, so it's almost as if Untouchable like wasn't even there at all. And if you saw like the Witch Doctor, don't even talk about it, man. He just died. It just he got deleted. Even the Slug as well. 
And again, back to game two, that Midas was probably a bit too greedy on his side. Like, he thought about going for Shadow Blade, but went for the Blink Dagger and never really got into going for, like, uh, like the Eye of Scotty, just a casual ultimate orb, sitting in his inventory, and MVP Phoenix will go ahead the line. So they stick, or rather they, you know, they start out with pretty strong supports, and, yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Lion is also like a priority pick in China. Um, seeing as MVP Fini play perfect well, I'm quite surprised they don't prioritize this as, you know, a support. Like the first pick. But I guess, you know, in this case, when TNT always bans out the Earth Spirit in the second ban phase, it makes sense. So, this, this is a tiny difference that you do notice. Like MVP Phoenix, that prioritized the Lion. Not so much a priority pick in some of the C teams, but compared to China, well, it's either a first pick or first ban. You see here the beast master is going to be the case so opportunity cost you want to see as a draft so who do you want to play against who are you okay who are you not okay remaining. with five seconds remaining. oh the doom yeah tnc has been going for this where notice in the past few games they like to go like when they tried to emphasize in the laning it didn't really work out so in such a case you just want to go for heroes which can sort of just out greed especially against MVP Phoenix, and if the Doom in that picture, Dwelling is actually going to be pretty. Yeah, this hero, has, well, for a period of time, it was like a priority pick. But when you have heroes like Witch Doctor coming out, that's where Doom, you can find that he can be quite negated quite easily with the food estimation heal. And but this jungling Doom, even if it does go for like a Dwelling with the Slaughter. But yeah, actually, when you combine, I mean, you combine that with like the slaughter, Doom has pretty decent kill potential in the slot with the slaughter and slithering guard. Well, okay, Doom can actually go for the net, which will provide you a double disable for the slaughter to provide kill. Maybe the frost armor, where it makes it very hard to kill a Doom, and he's really so tanky. And it's definitely going to be a case with the Earth Spirit. It's going to be, admit, and it's going to be a TA pickup. Oh. I haven't seen this in a while. Or rather, yeah, I've watched it, but I haven't really casted this. So this is this is going to be good to watch a TA pick up an MVP. Ten seconds remaining. Viper. And the Viper will be the response. So they didn't ban it, but still, this is just so. This is just really, really scary right now as a TA. Well, then again, you know, experienced TA players, you have to learn how to play against the Viper. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Alright, so seeing what this brings to the table, well, Viper can actually grow into a beast. This game is... Realize... Much slow. You get the fire damage of Viper. And the toxin, he's going to have such high damage output. And... This is a... is a natural complement to the... Of the heroes right now for the TN draft and P side, it's mostly a ton of magic nuke. And I want to see how this really combines. Maybe if you can get like a great side blades combo into the dark seal with the magnetize, that could be great. But now we're going to see who would the safe lane hero be for MVP TNC to take out the anti mage, unusual, which TNC doesn't really play an anti mage. Really, I should consider banning out the invoker. I mean, it's still something which you don't want to give away. And this, they will take out the slark again. I want to deal against it. And if TNC open up the gyrocopter, so bear in mind, I did mention back all the way in game one for those of you who are starting to tune in. TNC is the team where they will play a Viper in the safe lane and the gyrocopter goes into the safe, so it goes into the middle lane. This is where you, you have to take note. Tihi takes it up, and Tihi can play any hero mid. But I'm still not convinced with the gyrocopter mid, mostly because the only way is like you your opponents just overcommit and that's where you go for the rocket barrage bamming into the templar assassin but the viper is most definitely going to do so much better and we we're going to see this bend into the darks here this is going to be amazing for mvp can they get the wombo combos i already favor mvp phoenix so much more and actually curse you guys who actually been, have been betting i've been voting for the Sven arcana man what happened to chen Yeah, you you root. Why? Just gotta give chance a bit of a chance. You're gonna give Chen a chance. But that was. But give Chen a chance, and more you know, support plays need in Akana as well. You can't give everything to the course. Yeah, but that's not count.
Ten seconds remaining. Alright, so there we go. Game three, guys. Who will win here? Will our K pop lords or will our Balut fans over here? Who will be the winner of this best of three series? As right now, you see Sam H playing on the Slada and the Radiant side for TNC. Cuckoo on the Oracle. T He playing on the Viper mid. So it will be Raven playing in the Dave Lane, alright? And we have here Ayo playing on the Doom. So it will be a support Doom. Starts out with Boots though, so it's going to be a position 5 Oracle. Dubu already placing the lane ward, playing on the Earth Spirit this game. QO playing as Ven with a nice big butter knife. You look at MP playing on the Templar Assassin, followed up by Febby on the Leon. You all have Forev playing on the Darks here in the off lane. Ayo putting the ward down. It's going to provide him decent good vision, nice deep ward, but they're pinging it out already. And with that, Febby gets 100 gold here, or may actually just give it away to the course. So selfless. Self the support. Takes it maybe. Yes. Right, so with Tihi playing on the Viper middle lane, this is not going to be a good lane at all for the TA. He is going to struggle. But on the bright side, you know, when it comes to. As long as he doesn't die, as long as it comes to combat farm, he's actually going to do quite okay. Especially since he is probably going to get ancient stacks. He's going to have the jungle for him. Many available resources, and we're going to see level one engagers. MP Kyo, not ideal. With the gyrocopter, he's going to bash his damage. Kyo trying to go for the roots. Ben will get into both roots with the enemy. Kyo going to be rushing everywhere, and he's going to die first blood, going the way of CG. Yep, they save it for him. So T getting first blood is a huge amount of gold, 300 gold. Not sure why MVP actually wanted to contest it. So a bounty win for your life. Looks like he's taking some lessons from Eternal Envy. No, it doesn't matter. Just get the rune. Get the rune. But. Right, so Tihi already on the high ground, gonna just right click away on MP. No reflections for you today. He does have a side blitz with extra bit of range, but this isn't easy for him at all. As long as Tihi has the poison, mention the corrosive skin, he can kill MP very, very easily. And Sam H, while well, he's getting zoned out very hard by Febby and Dubu. We're not hanging around mint just yet, but he has to smoke if he decides to rotate. Probably thinking about getting the level 2 first. Gets the pull. Yeah, Sam's still level 1, doesn't have any EXP, and Ayo is the only one here who is able to... Since he does go for the boots, you know, he's got the devour, he's gonna jungle a bit, find a level 2, and Slaughter can find the same. Kyo has been doing very well to keep the creep wave in his favor. The creep equilibrium is so important. And you look at Raven and Oracle side as well, they're doing the same thing. And you know, for he's still okay, he's still able to farm his way towards the Soul Ring, and he's already level 2, having a much better time than Sam H. He's got Mangoes, Clarity as, as well. And against Raven, it's not like he can just keep the. You no, know, he's not gonna do much besides just keeping the waves pushed out. The highlight should be here between Tihi and MP, seeing what MP is gonna do. No stacks on his side just yet, but he will be forced to salve up, no bottle in sight. May consider going back for the boots just first, so that at least he's able to trade hits more efficiently and move around. But now the level fractions playing against T he is not going to be fun. But he will have the extra damage. To Ao coming in, he has the net. He needs the high ground vision. We'll get the net now. And wait, uh, no, the back off at the last moment. T he says, "No, I'm not going to commit for this. It's not worth it." But now the level two iron shell. The waves are going to be pushed very, very easily. This is where Oracle can somewhat do okay as well. You can see this as the follow-up pick because you realize that the Fortune Zen can debuff the Ion Shell from the Creep, which is something you can consider. Dubu now the Invisor and thinking about going behind for a Courier Snipe. Damage, Desperate for Lasses. Didn't even get that one. Still 0 0 1. Yes. So, 4F now the Soaring. He's going to be able to spam his Ion Shell so much better. Much easier time compared to the Slada. And he's gonna flash out much quicker as well. So Dubu, he's already used the Invisory and a nice little journey across the map. Bump into Ayo, it seems, finding the skeletons, but he's gonna juke him here. Does he actually try for Tihi? That's the question. P1 level 4 first, it seems. Dubu on the high ground, he's gonna be very happy to just leave B from this. He wants level 2. Hurry on the way, gets a ward down. This ward's gonna scout Cuckoo. Been nicer if you got the courier snipe though. Oh, Ben. And now that the dwell in situation, Slot is going to be able to excel. This is his tiny window. No. But Febby gets the hex up where we have the stun cure. Do they have enough damage? No, they do not. It's a level 2 cleave, no extra points in the stun. 
Raven making his way to its face boots. MP, yep, still no stacks of ancients, but Dubu's gonna give a helping hand as 4F has taken to the jungle already, realizing okay, I can't farm the lane at all, it's just too dangerous. Fortune then into the rocket barrage, it is level 2, and with the phase boots, do not run as MP right now may be in a bit of trouble. Finally gets his bottle. He will be able to get a bounty rune at the same time. Regeneration top lane, but Viper doesn't really need it. It would still be a huge plus if he picks it up. 1 in 0, 4 minutes in. Not much action as both these teams, you know, they just want to utilize maximum farm, get the safe levels, otherwise, the game can go anyway. Mr. Cuckoo and AO now smoked up. Where they going? It's actually a level 2 devour, not level 2 scorched stuff. Going for the wraparound, they're gonna scout the stacks, but they will put the ward down. So this is actually gonna block the camp, and they can dive behind the T1 for MP as he slowed up. Cool going for the forge then charging it up, and the TP is gonna come in with the dogs here. MP, yeah, he's just dead anyways. Forever looks like you're in the wrong neighborhood. You're just yeah, you're in such a wrong place to vacuum, trying to chase them back. He has to search in five seconds, but. Can he actually get the comeback kill here? No, he's not. He's trying to run away into the trees, juke around the nighttime vision, and he will go on any mission to purifying flames. So, Viper gets a double kill. Teehee stomping this lane. Tries Viper against TA matchup. Rito all going in favor of TNC. MVP just really struggling here. Rito making his way to either an armlet or it could be a Helm of Dominator, but this is where. This is where things are just not good for him because this is where the, we see the dilemma. Who do you give the stacks to? Give it to the Sven or do you give it to the TA? TA is so underfarmed right now. You might even see him just go for the armlet because uh, some what some Svens have been doing, they're not so reliant on the stacks anymore. They will go for like an armlet into an Echo Saber and or even a Blink Dagger and then you just go start fighting straight up. Mr. Dupu still trying to stack one more time and hopefully this will be some Relief for MP. Boyev, jungle already getting close to a headdress with the boots and the soaring six minutes in. Last hits, he is climbing up 30, you know, and that is, you know, this is just a sign of a smart offlaner who is able to identify how, which lane, where he, place he's going to maximize his economy, like economic gain. The net worth, you can see Gyrocopter and spend head to head. Very close as the Doom is, which picks up the region rune with the Alpha Wolf, they will smoke. No level 6 yet, but they do see that the stacks are going on. This could be pretty big as they try to go for MP. Dubu staying at the high ground, gonna break the smoke. Yes, Dubu needs to run away right now, gonna get the stun onto two heroes. MP needs to get the scoot out of here, but Dubu all in near the secret shop area. Here comes Raven to the party. MP, they pop the dust bell. MP just got destroyed and locked down. He's not getting any chance at all. The flat cannon will clear up the ancient stacks. So MP is not finding anywhere to find farm. 4 and 0. And meanwhile, and Kyo happily farm up the top lane. We're looking here, 4 0 in favor of TNC. The net worth does go somewhat in their favor past 1k. It's getting more and more worrisome for MVP as they will be concerned at how MP just isn't able to find any farm. Still, you know, on a Wraith ban. In the bottle, he's in the bottom half of the net worth chart. Even Sam H is able to find so much more out of his lane. Com E versus, yeah, as you can see. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. DB gets the ward down, but it's going to drag the aggro under range creep. If Dyer's TNC spotted that out, they would have known that there's a ward behind the T1 Radiant's tower. But they will transition this into attack. a T1 push. Fortification will be Dyer's forced down. MP still attack. nothing, still level 5. 718 net worth on Dubu. He hasn't rotated to the mid. It's not easy to kill. So we're going to see Boots and Dubu and 4F picks up a nice energy booster, he's going to TP to the lane. Maybe not. But anyways, Cuckoo and Raven are just scouting out the stacks. He can use the call down to steal the stacks. So options are running out for QO and A right now. As you can see here, yep. Options Control over by TNC and the top lane here. TNC, well, maybe find another tower. What can MVP even do? To maybe try for a trade. MVP gonna start chipping away at this tower with the refraction charge. There's still no point into the mess yet. 
They will clear this very, very quickly and try to push with the Ring of Aquila. Bit of extra armor, but they're putting a nice Sionic Trap at the back. Somebody to on stats all the TPN, but Kyo is just farming up. Treads in the Helm of Dominator, so he hasn't gone for the armlet. Forever still trying to get towards the mech, hopefully then he... That's when he can start to group up. This is where he has to enter full arm mode. Tasty, tasty, and the next thing, the big thing for TNC could be Roshan. They can, and once, what is there to stop them? Dark tears, the level two vacuum into the wall. Sven still not at that scary damage level yet. He has got strength. But kind of the care, they take care of the creep waves very, very quickly, and they will proceed to chip away the tier two. Same for MVP as the net worth just continues to balloon in favor of TNC side. Dubu still struggling to find at level six, just kind of babysitting DA for a while. But MVP, they will just back off. They don't want to let any chip damage get to the T3. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Right, so TP coming in from Doom. We still haven't seen him use that ult just yet, but we have already seen a couple of shockwaves coming out, and that will be a free tower going the way of TNC as more gold boosted into the economy. And this is where things just get so scary. Like I said, and maybe they can just do Roshan pretty soon, but they need to win a fight because you don't want to risk it like fighting in such a tight corner, vacuum into the wall and the magnetize, which is still not yet available. But we have a finger, so they can easily burst on one target and move on to the next. Yeah, they can't find it, so Doobie's gonna hit Fabi. Will he find a sentry? Cut the trees and there we go, using all his tangos and they will take care of it. This is where now TNC, they will proceed to you know, chip away at this bottom T1. Picking up is real, not so much about farming anymore. And MVP, they will go for a smoke up, they have to take a fight. I mean, what else can they do? Maybe try to split the map up, get a bit of farm. You know, standing behind the T1, trying to pull the creep aggro away, but it's not that easy. Got strength, gonna be popping Kyo preemptively. You're gonna get the iron shell and the surge. He's gonna be running through it. See a huge team fight yet on a roll coming. Do kick all the attack damage. Nice back and pulling two into the wall. The pick is gonna immediately delete the start off the map as he's gonna go into MP in the back end to amplify damage. He's not running anywhere. And actually Kyo is gonna die to be able to get the turn to call him right to his face. Rope Knight and the Earth Spirit going down 2 for 1 trade. And that was as good as it can get for MVP. So TNT now happily open up to take this T1. P now running away and looking their wounds. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. So, once again, this. More vision coming up from Kuku. They have the ward down. It's going to be taken away. So 100 more gold going to Febby's pockets. Back to secure this ancient stack. But so much map control has been taken away. MVP. What's the comeback mechanism over here? Alpha Wolf from the Gyro. Going to be stacking that up. Where he's he's going to balloon up as well. He's is way into a dragon lance. It gives you good stats. No more into that quarter staff. It's two. And after the, the Dragon Lance, he can choose to maybe dis disassemble going to a BKB or into a Butterfly, or he can actually just go back to the Sanji Yasha. Get some good stats. Kyo really wants that dagger. So Doom is here just to mess around with the pole. See, he now have a bit of lifesteal in him as well. So this, yeah, this Viper is not going to be easy to kill. Six to one, twelve minutes and a half in the net worth, still past five k. EXP, a bit over a thousand in favor of TNC. They try for a kill here, Dubu. Fabi doesn't have the finger, so I doubt they'll be able to kill this. Any more backup? Yeah, I'm not sure what they're hanging around for. Maybe just suck him dry. Meanwhile, you look at this. Sam Hatred, with the amplified damage, gonna help Raven clear this ancient stack very, very quickly. And it will be the Dragon Lance. Things just look so precarious right now. They're gonna go for the roll in. Can they find anything else? Sven is on the way. And with MP, they can kill T here. This is a very big kill. Sven Drag trying to bring it down. He's gonna run all the way into trees. T he from Dry and Stormbolt Hammer. Can they kill T he? Not enough space, and T he will get the kill. So 471 gold. Kind of stuck. Slada picks up a blink. 
So they find themselves a bit more relief, a bit more space. It was a, such a high priority target, but we saw it took them so long for four heroes to kill him. P just Aquila, Dread, and a wand. We don't see that Desolator coming up. Stack soon, maybe for the spin. Forever, well, he has to complete a mech, so they have that going for them. The gyro is just so big right now, so is a Viper. They will go for the stun, your Q will be brought down, so the spin dies again. KD here for them. Sven is 0 and 3. MP uh, TA is 1 and 2. Them having a good time, and actually, they can they can actually afford to steal the stacks here. It looks like they're prior get the priority straight, go straight for a shot. 7 to 2. Boy, if that's have a blank, he won't try for the vacuum, but. Oh, he gets the vacuum all the way into the wall! Three men onto the... Radiant He's out now! What? The stun. Raven's just stuck there. We're gonna play around with Raven and the magnetized, throwing off the rock as well. He will just live and the finger the falls Radiant through. Oh no! Wonderful Fates Edict coming out from the Oracle, so he didn't take any damage at all and they still have the false promise. Oh, I have the vacuum back again! Oh my god, I'm not even sure what kind of Dota this is. So now no TPs on Cuckoo, no TPs on Sam H, but he has, he has that going for him. Now they will finally clean up the Roshan, but for it, will he go for another vacuum? Kick, running on Cuckoo and Sam H, they're so trying to kill him off, just keep him there. This is such an awkward exchange as Sam H and Kuru just enjoying the view. We have a TP on the way and a courier, but if they can kill the courier, this is pretty big as they will have the man disadvantage. Sam H thinking about blinking down maybe. Leaving Kuku up on the cliff. Right, and Kyo, that's a bit more space for him as he's trying to complete that saber for a bit more extra damage. And with the Aegis fresh on Raven, proceed to go into a Yasha and get the Y, and then we will start to see that this tier 2 take more damage. Hero, however, he's gonna bump this damage, amplify damage. Can he get the Doom onto him? He needs a stun, not a stun, and yes, they will get the Doom up, but is there any back? The Colin's gonna go, and Kyo's gonna run out of the Litha. No, it still connects, and Kyo going down, brought down 92 16 minutes in. This is just a complete and utter disaster. Whew. Game is hard. Under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Alright, so there we go. TNC now looking to knock on the front door. MVP's base. They can Dyer's do this. It's just fresh. Attack. No doom though, but they have to mech up on the doom. Eva Dragon Lance as well. So this tower seems like it's going down the back of the from 4F. Look at the vacuum gonna find four men into the wall. It's huge! And Imperial was only going to land to Sam Mage, but it's going to kill Oracle down. Raven trying to do as much damage as he can. Fabi's running around, ring around and releasing AO and Sam Mage. Oracle's going to be forced to buy back here. Is Fabi going to get run down by Raven? He will get the kill here. Will they find any more blood? Is MP brought down by the Slaughter 11 to 3. We may see buybacks forced out. Beautiful wall from 4F, but all up was just not there. So it's now back up. Dyer's structures are fortified. Fortification will be forced out. This is still a huge win for TNC. They still have the Aegis. And if the Yasha, he does more damage now. This is where things look so precarious. And this could be the end for MVP Phoenix as TNC close this game out. They will start chipping away at the melee lane of Rax. Purifying flames, keeping Raven always super healthy. Besides the, the super casual one, you know, heart attack. Kyo going back in Iron Shell, will they find anything else for him? Looking for the vacuum connected to the heroes into the house by Colin's gonna come on and a big gonna put AO down. No, Kyo's gonna get burned out by Raven. 4F to fall him into the grave. Yes, no pirate comes to him and 4F 
maybe for the buyback right here, he will be doing it. And P, he got this one out with the blank dagger, he just can't get the damage in. Oh, Spike's gonna come under T, he can they find anything else? And beautiful three man crush from Sam Hayes, the back is gonna come on and he got brought down, he amplified damage, he's not running anywhere. Garvin comes through to get a double kill, this is the end for MVP. Viper gets one more four down, and the GG will be caught for MVP, 18 minutes and a half in. TNC just wiping the floor with MVP's dead bodies as they claim a convincing Game 3 win. This was just such a disaster for MVP. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this could potentially fatigue their part, but well played to TNC. Like I said, TNC, they're such a strong team. And they, they've been going so nicely, very, very fast.